Good evening YouTube. Today is May 22nd, 2018. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link your bank account to your Gemini account. As usual, I'm not a professional or financial advisor, so the contents of this video should not be taken as such. Uh, and you will need a Gemini account for this. If you don't know how to set up a Gemini account, comment it into the comment section and I'll see what I can do to help otherwise um, I'll give you a quick overview so Gemini it's a cryptocurrency exchange from what I understand it is Coinbase's main competitor Gemini was founded by the Winklevoss twins if you don't know who the Winklevoss twins are I implore you to google them you will find that they were some of the earliest adopters of Bitcoin uh, they were closely associated with the essentially let's say the creation of Facebook uh, so they're they're pretty like well-known entrepreneurs uh, now why would you want to use Gemini uh, I don't know for a lot of reasons if you can't get set up on coinbase or GDAX perhaps you just like Gemini better than coinbase it's really up to you uh, in this video I'm just showing you how to link a bank account so you will need to have you will need to be logged in for your to your Gemini account with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I've already logged into my account, so I'm on my dashboard. Uh, getting set, getting your bank account is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see that I never use Gemini. For one thing, I've got 11 cents in here, and I last signed in five months ago, but that's because I just haven't really done much trading. Uh, but going back to what we want to do, for adding a bank account, just go to your name. So I'm hovering over my name, but if you're logged into your account, you should be logged into your name and it's pretty straightforward probably more straightforward than coinbase because you'll see there's an option for bank settings like in right in the navigation drop down so click on that and you'll kind of see like some basic options on the left hand side for your user settings a quick overview of what you can do um, and we want to add a new bank account so it tells you that you can basically do that uh, then you just go here and let's just say you want to do Bank of America and we'll just kind of search for it so Bank of America is here and you hit it continue and this is pretty simple uh, I don't have a Bank of America account but what you would do is if you have an online bank account type in your credentials and hit submit uh, I'm not going to vouch for the security of Gemini or anything like that. So if you're handing over your um, bank online banking credentials, that's you're doing it at your own risk. I personally have no uh, concerns if I was to provide my own login to Gemini. I trust them, but that's me. Uh, and then hit submit, and then that would basically link your account. And once you do that, you'll have the option to fund your account from your bank account and it will show up here as a bank account on file that's basically how you add a bank account um, if your bank account if your bank doesn't show up here like let's say you bank with let's say bank of I don't know bank of Qumran right that's me uh, you have an option and you'll click on don't see your bank on the list and you hit continue and it'll just say that you can't do instant bank verification and that you need to do a wire verification uh, so that would allow you to do uh, bank wires, which is not nearly as convenient as having just a instant bank account verified. So that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions around linking your bank account or you're still not sure how to use a bank account once it's linked to your Gemini account, go ahead and use the uh, comment section of this video. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks and have a good night. Bye.